God has a war plan. God is the man with the plan. You know, he has given us an arsenal of weapons to use. You know, in John 10, 10, it says the thief or the enemy, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus says, I have come to give you life and to give you life more abundantly. And if you're not living that abundant life today, you can be. And God has a war plan for you. This is your mission. If you decide to accept this mission, then it is possible for you to come into that abundance that God wants for you. You know, in Isaiah 55, verse 12, it says, You will go out with joy and be led forth with in peace. Look at that. The mountains and the hills shall break into song and burst into song before you, and all the trees of the fields will clap their hands. You know, there's rejoicing in the land when the righteous are in rule. And when your spirit man is ruling and reigning, uh, there is joy and peace in the land. Well, peace is the mighty weapon that I want to talk to you about today. Behind me is one of our U.S. Army helicopters. It is used. It was used in battle. It was used to transport soldiers, uh, ammunition uh, to different spots. And I just wanted to come here today uh, and let you know that God has a weapon for you, and the weapon is peace. We shall be led forth in peace. It says uh, in uh, Galatians chapter 5 that one of the, the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. Peace. It says in Matthew uh, chapter 5 verse 9 that blessed are the peacemakers. For they shall be called, what? The children of God. God is a God of war. But his mission for you and I, and I call you to alert today as soldiers of the cross, that your mighty weapon that you can use in any situation is peace. Pursue that peace. You know, in Luke chapter 2, verse 14, Jesus said, uh, you know, peace on earth and goodwill to all men. That's what the angel said. Uh, you know, the, uh, a Savior is coming. A Redeemer is coming. In, in John 14, 27, Jesus said, peace, I'm going to leave with you. I'm asking you today, are you pursuing peace in your family? Are you pursuing peace in the body of Christ? Are you pursuing peace in your workplace? Pursue peace with all individuals. You know, many times uh, there's a fight within us. There's a war going on with, inside of us, and we're warriors, and we're going to fight, and we're going to fight with this weapon and with that weapon. But let me tell you something. God wants you to be a peacemaker today, a peacemaker in your marriage a peacemaker in your ministry. Go about and, and, and sow peace. Bring unity into your family. Bring unity into your marriage. Bring unity, uh, the unity of peace into the body of Christ. In, uh, in John chapter 20, he says, Jesus says, I'm going to send you and I'm going to send you to make peace. Are you willing this day to accept this mission? It is a mission that is possible. It is not an impossible job and task that God is telling you to do. He is telling you to make peace. Maybe you need to make peace with God today. Maybe you need to accept Jesus as his Savior, his Son uh, that died for you on the cross and rose again on the third day. Maybe you need to make peace with, with God today. And if you do, just call upon the name of Jesus and say, I believe that Jesus is the Son of God. 
and his peace will come inside of you. His redemption will come inside of you. His salvation will come to you today because today is the day of salvation. A mighty war plan that God has for each one of us. Peace. Let peace rule in your heart and in your mind this day. In this day. I, I sense in my spirit, and this is a word from the Holy Spirit, that you're to make peace with some of your brothers and sisters. I believe that there's in the some family, extended family situation where there's been arguing and fighting and bitterness. Uh, that root of bitterness has arisen. And right now I just come against that root of uh, bitterness and resentment. And I tell it to be dug up and be burned up uh, in your life in the name of Jesus. Go and make peace uh, with those brothers and sisters. Don't let any uh, enemy come in and take the abundance that Jesus died to give you and rose again to give you. He gives you victory every day. But we must use God's war plan and God's weapons uh, to do that. Pursue peace. I speak peace to your body today. I speak peace to your mind today uh, in the name of Jesus. You know, just like this helicopter was used to transport soldiers, peace, God's peace will transport you in to the eternal realm. God bless you today. Thank you for viewing.